Hello friends, welcome back yet again. This is Fawless, level 27, 28, sorry. Druid Worgen, just standing in the Dwarven district outside the bank, which is there, and the auction house, which is there. We are going to continue on with some player versus player restoration druid healing. Quite enjoying it at the moment. Not the best PvP -er by far. Sometimes I have my moments of brilliance, but more often than not, I'm a, a bit of a noob, really. So I'm going to pause the video. Looks like we're waiting about five minutes to get into the battleground, and I will see you on the other side. Okay, here we go. Into another battleground. This is the battle for Gilnes, and... We just lost within two seconds. Well, can't win them all. All right, that was a bad cue, so we'll just um, go ahead and re -cue. Actually, just looking at the statistics here, look at all those hunters. They probably just annihilated the alliance there. Oh well. See you in a moment, friends. Okay, looks like we're going back to the Silver Shard Mines. Let's have a look. Look at all these druids. Wow. Mukden, Veril. Got a tank with enormous health. Let's have a look at the gear. It's a bit, it's not too bad. A few enchants. Some gems as well. Nice. We've got four healers in this battleground. Wow. That warrior looks pretty good as well. Let's check out the warrior's gear. Very nice. What else have we got? A hunter. Let's check out the hunter's gear. You might think I'm terribly judgmental. Checking out the gear, but it kind of gives me a sense of how the battle is going to go. This guy's got hardly any gear for some reason. Level 10 gear, level 19, and so on. Check out the horde. They've got... Unfortunately for them, they don't have any healers. So we're, we have an enormous advantage here. We've got five heals. Five healers. Six heals. That's amazing. Let's see how we go with six healers. I don't think I've ever seen six healers in one battleground. I don't even think I've seen six healers in an epic battle round sometimes so this is quite a unusual situation let's get along to this card up here no one's going to join me it's a bit strange just me versus this guy here okay let's see if i can stay alive drink it out of that Oops, got nature locked. And dead. Someone really decided to take me out there. It's a shame no one went for that minecart. And no one's going for this minecart. I don't know what the team is doing. I guess it doesn't matter how many healers you have if no one understands the strategies or the tactics. You might as well surrender. Someone's coming at me there. I can outrun them. No one's helping me out. It's a bit of a shame. 
really don't know why. The team is all up there. See how we go when I respawn. Go for the water cart. Let's have a look. We are just getting. Oh no, look at the horde. Are... No, the horde are killing us very easily. I find that very, very strange considering we're all healers. Get down here. Okay, well they're hitting pretty hard. And I cannot outheal that. Let's try again. Doing lots of healing. We're not doing much the way of killing. No one's guarding this cart, it seems. We're going to claim this cart. It's a bit of luck. Just getting annihilated as a team. Let's see if we can get around to this cart all the way up here. Before it reaches the very end. That's our demon hunter. Looks like we should be able to take this cart. Give him some heals. It appears the team can't get out of the base, that's why we are doing so badly. Don't know if we need three players escorting this cart all the way to the very end. Let's get back down. You can come up here and mm, I don't think so. There's three guarding that cart. So you love that healer. Healing up the healer. Blast that guy. My bark on. Okay, not looking good. Well, we are losing this battleground resoundedly. It's a bit of a disappointment when you've got six healers. Unfortunately, need some more damage. Thought we might be able to mutually heal each other out of the Out of the, 
I'm not even thinking of a rude word. Okay, let's get back down there. Never give up. So not only um, hitting us hard, I think they're most of them are twinks as well. And they are about to win this game when these two cards come to the very end of the track. A shame. Well, I hate to say it, but I don't think we can make a difference here. I'm just going to wait it out. Ten levelers. I'm not sure what he means by that. I think he's saying the people are leveling up in the battlegrounds. Which is their prerogative. Okay, look at these statistics. All the damage, tons of damage, we did tons of healing, and they did all the killing. Oh well, let's do another battleground, see how we go. Well, it's back to a random epic battleground. Winter of Grasp, I think it's called. And where are we? Joined in the middle of the battle. Just going to unlock my healer's thing, let's put it maybe over there, lock it in, and see how we're going. So once again it looks like we are defending, I think, castle, so this time I'm going to join the team down at this workshop down here. Actually, it looks like there's some siege engines could maybe blow up. We should do that. Let's try this again. It didn't work very well in the last battleground. Tried my best to blow up the siege engines without much effect. I think I kept getting targeted and killed. Okay, so there's some demolishers outside, let's come out here, where are they, there, let's go right underneath it so it's harder for them to target me, and blow it up, oh someone's Someone's targeting me. Getting interrupted. Oh, just blew it up. Not sure what's happening there. Let's have a look. Someone coming around this side. I'm not sure. I can't tell if it's. Well, that's one of ours. Let's come over this side. My RPG strapped to my back. There's an enemy engine down there. Can 
I go into stealth. There's an enemy one, a demolisher. So I'm going to go try and blow that demolisher up. My RPG. I'm going to come over here, stand aside from it. Uh, yeah, Let's see if I can kill it with my RPG. Kaboom. Nice. Don't know if I should take credit for that. come around this side. I think there might be some more enemy um, siege engines and so on. There's one right there. So this one has no one guarding it. Let's see if I can do the same. I'm in too close. He's going to chase me now. It's a mistake. I'm going to cast an awesome spell called the Souls Vortex or Souls Vortex. I'm just running away, which is good. Takes them away from. Yes. And in a minute I'm gonna dash way on cooldown. And away I go. This Windwalker monk is going to re hopefully regret this decision. Just blasting him or her. And now, I don't run away yet. I haven't finished playing. This is a good move here. This guy is messing around with me and should be heading towards the, um, you know, the fortress, not, not playing around, trying to kill a single druid. See if we can blast this guy. Boom. So we can blast him again. That's good. I feel like I'm doing a bit better in this battleground. <laughs> He's a bit upset with me. Oh well. And we'll run back. I've still got all these RPGs on my back. Let's have a look. Is there another one? Here come some more siege engines. So 
one over here as well. Let's try to get ahead of it. It's quite a lot of fun. I knew that guy was going to blast me. Oh no, I shouldn't have gone into stealth. Got a dot on my back. Here we go. Let's go back into stealth. Come around here. And see if we can take down that siege engine. It's a bit harder actually when there's a lot of the enemy around. So hard to um not get interrupted, let's say. Let's go invisible again. And there's another siege engine over here. Getting blasted. Interrupted. What a shame. Okay, let's run away. Strategically, of course. And let's come back. Oh, there's a lot of them at the front gate. How are we doing with those towers down there? We're about to kill the towers. Come around the back. See if we can sneakily get an RPG off. That one got blown up. Let's do one here. Just gonna wait a sec. See if I can stealthily get under there. I pop my I'm out of stealth, I'm going to get blown up, I think. There's someone behind me, didn't even see that. Okay, time to run away. Okay, three minutes left. Then we'll go into stealth. So we've got three minutes and I don't think they are through yet. So that's a good sign. That's one of ours. That's an enemy one. Let's come up here and blast it. Some wrath. Hunter's attacking me. Let's run away. Healing up. Get rid of that star full. And let's come back to the action. Two minutes left. I don't think they can win two minutes left. We've also captured that siege work. I oh, know we have that siege workshop down there. Can't be too complacent though. Two minutes is a long time. Heal up that hunter. Nice. Let's 
Go stealth. One minute thirty. Sometimes I forget that I'm the Alliance and I keep thinking I'm Horde. Killed that hunter. I think the hunter was playing dead. One minute to go. Where shall I go? Not sure where to go, really. Forty seconds to go. seconds to go. Let's go back into the fortress. Prepare for a victory dance. It's a little teleport mechanism. Okay, eight seconds to go. I actually don't have any of the quests for this battleground. And there we are. It's a victory. Winter Grasp victory. Got some experience there. Level 29. Let's have a look at the stats. Someone did 1 million damage. That was a warlock. My healing was a little bit... I didn't really do much. I think I self-healed most of the battle. Did some damage, as you can see. Where am I? Down there. Didn't kill anyone this time. Let's have a look at the killing blows. Apple Pain killed 40. That's amazing. But um, ultimately, that's a good game. So, my first epic battleground victory. Everyone's left the battleground. Thank you for joining me on this leveling journey please feel free to like and subscribe and hope you come back and join me again soon bye for now